St. Louis Metro Police Department cold case unit has been operating for only about a year and a half, but has already closed 10 cases. Yeah, now they are turning their attention to one of the department's most notorious and disturbing investigations, the case of Little Jane Doe. Fox News' Catherine Hessel has an exclusive look behind the closed doors of an office now dedicated to this case. The circumstances surrounding this case were so horrific it garnered national attention. It's haunted detectives who have worked it, but now new detectives are reopening the case 37 years later. What was done to this child is it, simply horrendous. Raped, murdered, decapitated. February 28th, 1983, two men looking for scrap metal to fix their car lit a cigarette in the basement of an abandoned apartment building on Clemens Avenue. The light illuminates the body of a young girl. We know the child was uh, sexually assaulted and we know the child was uh, decapitated. Detectives believe the child was between 8 and 11 years old. She was found with just a yellow v-neck sweater on, her hands bound behind her back with red and white nylon rope. Investigators believe that she was beheaded elsewhere, then dumped in the basement and found about five days later. Detectives worked tirelessly on the case, calling it one of the most sickening in memory. They traveled all over the country following up on leads. The detectives at that time did a remarkable amount of work. Uh, there's, there's, I, I can't imagine anything they left unturned. But ever since then, we still haven't been able to, one, identify her, and just as importantly, we have not been able to identify the suspect. Eventually, the case went cold. Then in 2013, homicide detectives exhumed the body to gather any type of scientific evidence that could now be tested. They learned the child was most likely from the southeast or midwest, but they're still far from having all the answers. We can do any number of scientific research and analysis on this case, and none of that supplants someone coming forward and just telling us that, hey, I remember a little girl who disappeared. Now the newly formed St. Louis City Cold Case Unit has a room devoted just to the case of little Jane Doe. We're running through the facts, running through the case, we're examining all the old records, and we're once again in a position to ask for help from the public. The head of the St. Louis Metro Homicide Division, Lieutenant Scott Aubuchon, says little Jane Doe was found with red polish on her fingernails. It looks like she was well cared for. We believe the child wasn't homeless. So, yeah, it stands to reason that their friends, their family were involved with this child. Um, they were aware of the child. He still believes that someone knows something. An 8, 9, 10, 11-year-old girl just doesn't disappear without people taking notice of it. We are now 37 years later on, and I think if anyone was reluctant before to talk about it, now's the time to come forward. I mean, if anyone knows of any little girl, we're interested in anything. Abishan says they haven't gotten a worthwhile tip in this case in 10 to 15 years. But now's the time for detectives, the department, and St. Louis to name little Jane Doe and her killer. We owe it to this little girl to do something. If you have any tips on this case or any other cold case, you can call the St. Louis Homicide Department. I'll put that number in this story online. Reporting, I'm Katherine Hessel.